Hi YouTube, uh, this is Tom again. Um, I'm here to uh, tell you about part three of ten of uh, my experience at this Camp FEMA Life facility uh, called the Fam Family Foundation School. Uh, in the previous video I talked to you about months zero through three in which I talked to you about uh, little conspiracies that had been going on within you know where I had been and whatnot. Uh, spending my time in a little box, the isolation room there, whatnot. So, anyways, um, here's my, uh, I guess, my story after this. Uh, it had been three months since I had been there. Um, I had enough of this place yet again. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, I just had to do school every day. You know, we, you know, only had school five days a week, but we didn't get really a summer break. We didn't get anything, like, so we were just always going, 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 going 13 hours a day. So, you know, I started having problems, like, around month three. I pushed... We pushed and pushed and pushed and tried to make it through, you know, around month four or five. And then when six came around, I just, I lost it. I was like, you know what? Fuck this place. I'm leaving. I, I can't deal with this anymore. I was dealing with, you know, kids that were just, you know, out of spite, you know, bringing themselves up at table topics and, you know, just trying to make it through and whatnot. And this kid brought me up because uh, he thought that I was lusting out towards him, I guess you could say. And he was a homophobe, so he, he would bring me up and then, like, he would just twist stuff around, like... And he wouldn't even say, like, stuff like that. Um, but he would say, like, oh, well, I saw you, like, sneaking um, uh, around, like, this person and, like... Because, like, since homosexuality, whatever, is not really accepted or talked about in the facility, like, they, they would always be like, uh, this, this guy would always, you know, be like, oh, I saw you, like, looking at this girl and whatnot, and, you know, like, you were, like, looking at her like a piece of meat, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm a virgin, what are you, what are you talking about? Um, I don't even have that, you know, I, I might as well be asexual. I don't have any sexual thoughts about girls what, whatsoever, so I had no idea what he was talking about, and, you know, I got ripped open for all that. I got yelled at. I was just, oh, God, like, I was being screamed at. I, 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 I had enough, so that... Uh, it wasn't that night, but it was like, whatever, a couple nights afterwards or whatnot. I was like, you know what? I've had enough this place. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna book it. I'm gonna get the f*** out of here. So, I run. Uh, right when it's time to go to the dorms, whatever, the dorms that we were in, which are like, um, single wide trailers. Um, single wide trailers, they fit, uh, 22 people, yeah, about 20, 22 people per single wide trailer, so, uh, 22 guys in a trailer, you picture that, you sleep in that every night, you know, it just made me go crazy, I had enough, so I booked him right when we were headed to the, you know, dorm. So I started running down the hillside. This guy who was like a sprinter or whatever before he came here and fastest in the state or whatever, whatever. He couldn't even keep up with me. I was so determined to get out there and get away from there, even though I knew the dogs would come after me afterwards. Even though I, I know they always did tactics of like, oh, well, the bears will eat you and... Uh, this one girl left, whatever, and she never came back, you know, we never, 
the wolves probably ate her and whatnot. I was like, no, screw that. This is all propaganda. It was all propaganda to try to make you stay there and this, that. I, I had enough of that. So I booked it and whatnot. I, w I will uh, also put up a satellite image of this place so you can um, see where I was because my trailer, when I put up this picture, I'll put a link to it. It's on the bottom left-hand corner. It's the trailer furthest down to the left and right, um, right before you see this dirt pile on, well, it's going to be this side right here. It's not a dirt pile, it's a cliff. So I started running down, and then I started rolling down this hill because I went too fast, and so I started literally tumbling down the hill um, and uh, ran into a stump really hard. That hurt. Um, but anyways, I was running, 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 and then I was running, but then there was no ground below me, and I was like, whoa, and then, like, next thing I know, I am in the air, and I'm, I'm not flying, but I'm kind of out flying and then falling at the same time, so I, here I am, like, falling into this huge quarry pit, and I'm like, I'm going to die when I hit the bottom of this. So, please, God, please, God, please, God, please, God. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Like, and literally, it was like seconds before I fell. And then I land, and the slope was still like that. And as I was landing, I guess it was the slope steepness and me going down at the same time was just enough so that my legs collapsed underneath me. And then it hit my you know, my butt hit the, the gravel, and or not the gravel, I'm sorry, but it was more like clay-like gravel substance, and uh, and then I started sliding down the rest of the way, but it was about a good 30, 40 feet I fell, well, about a four-story building equivalent, and uh, my legs didn't break or anything, so I was very, very thankful for that, so I slid down to the rest of the quarry that I could, kept running, ran out the side of where whatever the quarry was out and around and then kept going through the woods over a couple of mountains and whatnot um, until I came to this whatever hippie camp whatever they were smoking a bunch of crazy stuff and whatnot and they're like oh are you lost so I was like yeah I'm just trying to get home and whatnot and so I you know I I call my parents and whatnot and say, listen, this is what's been happening, I, I can't stand it anymore, they were like, yeah, I don't know, and I was like, hey, listen, I ran away, and then they were just, like, even more worried, and when I was on the phone with my parents, the, uh, people at the school pulled up, so they took me in their car, and, uh, Drove me back to the school. I guess the people at the camp notified the people that I was there. So, got sent back. And I was in a lot of trouble. Um, so, that was that part. Um, things got uh, weird months six through eight. Because it was the sixth month that I ran away, seventh month, eighth month. Uh, that two month period, I was just kind of in a lot of trouble. I was laying low and whatnot. Um, yeah, ninth and tenth months, my best friend, Vicky, Vicky T, uh, showed up at this time. She was intaked, and, you know, she was on a lot more drugs than I was when I came here, but, you know, we could really relate to each other. Um, we really bonded and whatnot, so yeah, that was like, I don't know, that was almost around a, between nine months and a year since I had been there and whatnot, and, you know, she was my saving grace coming there, because I, whew, I didn't know what else to do, I, I was going crazy, I needed a good friend, and, you know, they did split us up, uh, for a while, because we got in trouble, because girls and guys aren't really allowed to talk to each other um, that much, especially alone. But uh, they actually did, you know, and I prayed about it a lot. They actually made an exception for me, you know, that we could talk together. And we had really good talks. It was just 
really therapeutic for me. It was, uh, God worked in so many good ways in that, that situation. God helped me so much in, uh, well, in the next, uh, series that I'm about to tell you. This is part three now, but it really starts picking up in part four through ten. Um, just everything that, uh, happened, it, it was just literally a miracle. Um, well, I wouldn't say part four and part five. You know, that, that part's definitely not the happy part, but, uh, yeah, it definitely starts picking up afterwards. Um, but I just, I'm really thankful for, for that person, and, uh, if she ever sees this, you know who you are. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so, I'm, time's up again. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. I probably won't. It's my last video making that I'm going to make for the night. Uh, I only thought I was going to get to part two tonight, but this is part three. Surprise, surprise. But I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, have a good night. Talk to you later.